love and light collective love and light and welcome back to another video if you guys are new thank you so much for clicking on the video and if you guys are returning thank you so much for all your love and support guys i've had such a long day today but spirit was telling me i need to jump on i need to do this video because this is going to be huge confirmation for the collective um, i had been getting a few downloads um, all day long i kept hearing the last shall be the first and the first shall be the last many were called but only a few were chosen okay i think that's like matthew 19 don't quote me on that but i think that's what it is um so yeah let's go ahead and pray and let's see what the cards want to say and see if they match up with the energy okay father god angels divine holy spirit please go ahead and bless the collective protect my channel heal whoever clicked on the video send healing love and light whatever anyone is sending myself just go ahead and return back to them tenfold if they are sending blessings bless that back onto them and if they are sending any evil eye bad intentions you name it just return to sender because in this day and age guys if you guys are new i like to teach the simple law that what you give out into this world is the same that you're calling into yourself okay and if you guys are returning you know what to do like the video comment down below if you want guys we are almost to 5,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without you so if you want to go ahead and subscribe to the intuitive family i would love to have you all right let's go ahead and dive into the message what does spirit want to say about this first will be last and last shall be first i'm also getting like when this something is going to happen because i've been getting this big boom moment right if you guys watch the videos down below i suggest you should if this one resonates but there is a big moment that is going to be happening in the collective's lives if you have been doing the work and you have been living in your higher self you guys are going to be reaping some sort of big blessing i saw blessing in my life and i know it was a collective energy so just get ready okay but um there is going to be something happening and i feel like even if you feel like you're not prepared for it even if you feel like because i get this feeling where a lot of people are going to be looking at you like why her why him i've been doing this for how long i've been doing i've been trying to get this for how long and then here they come and boom they get it right boom exactly and i'm getting this energy who chills thank you spirit but i'm getting this energy where it's like first will be last and last will be first it doesn't matter how long somebody has been preparing for this situation it doesn't matter how long somebody has been um studying for the position whatever it is you know take it how it resonates to your life but you're going to be like from the back of the line all of a sudden you just get this you know you you get this move up to the front and it's like you because you were chosen right so a lot were called but this is your time because you were chosen so let's go ahead and play some cards and see what wants to come out spirit please let the cards line up to the downloads and allow everything to flow naturally to give a clear accurate message to bring healing love and light to the viewers all right let's go ahead and see wow okay too many we're going to, okay, veil. I've been seeing veil since I was shuffling and I, I had a really good feeling that card wanted to come out. Um, if you look at this card, veil, it's almost as if you have been covered, right? You have been, what am I hearing, spirit? Hold on god hid you in plain sight that's what i'm hearing so it's like whatever you've been doing you've probably been in like a hermit mode you've probably been isolated you've probably been to yourself you've probably been just on your grind doing whatever you needed to do to get things done right i know i can say that's for myself as well but i feel like there has been this veil over you where it's like you've been hidden in plain sight or 
you could be in a in a big crowd and people you know they notice you but they don't notice you if, if that makes sense right and it's like i feel right now in this season in this time we are this is the bull season Taurus season we just got into this but i feel like right now um god is going to unveil you god is going to present you to the world whatever that is for yourself you're going to be showered this almost looks like rain doesn't it like showered with abundance showered with intuition showered with light you are going to have that perfect balance that yin and yang you are the star okay so take that how it resonates in your life but i feel like this is your time okay sacredness there is something significant with this kind of purplish lavender i'm getting it everywhere and then also yellow i was gifted these yellow flowers today um so maybe that could be significant for you but yes i do see this purple there is something to do with purple purple to me is intuition oh and i also was called to grab my raw um amethyst and then my selenite and my black tourmaline for protection so maybe those are some crystals that you guys want to work with that you guys um could do good working with take it how it resonates um, but I do feel like with this sacredness, it's like you you are very sacred. And I oh, when I get this card, I see this as the divine feminine. To me, it looks like women's parts. I don't know why, but I'm always brought to this. So I could be speaking to the divine feminine or a female, right? A female energy. But I do feel like, like you guys have been very sacred. You've been on this journey. You've been in this pure state, just almost like preserving. God has been preserving, but preparing you for this unveiling wow wow i got this image of like somebody you know when they get married and they lift the veil up over over the um woman's and then the husband goes in to like kiss the bride that's exactly the energy that i got um the vision that i saw i saw like you're being unveiled right the veil is now lifting off and this the world is going to be able to see all this goodness all this light all this blessing that god has been keeping hidden from a lot of people and i think in this process of god keeping you hidden and in this hermit energy is because god needed to pull you back so that you could see all the people and all the places that were no longer serving you that were no longer for your highest good right if god's gonna go ahead and unveil you and shower you with all these blessings and you're still in the midst of all these snakes your blessings are just going to get eaten up right so i feel like god had to pull you back had to keep you preserved right had to cover you um so that you could also use your intuition and see everything from a higher perspective instead of being in it and amongst it he had to pull you back keep you you know with him covered and um allow you to see everything that's been going on everything that everybody that's been around you so i do feel like now you've you've um you've come out of that right you've you've learned you've seen you've detached you cut off and now you're being unveiled beautiful energy oneness yes and look at look at that i don't know if you guys can see that but there is like an angel or a spirit angel right in there and it's because you became one you became one with yourself with your light self with your dark self with your masculine with your feminine with your yin your yang you've been you became one and you became one with everything and everyone and the universe and god and the everything you know you are a part of everything everything is a part of you and you have your angels and your guides around you saying look if you ever need anything we are here we are here we've always been here and we will continue to be here so that is beautiful if you guys are ever feeling um lost confused frustrated is this the way to go is this right is this up is this down whatever it is pull back i always say that whenever you have confusion whenever you don't know something pull that energy back and then gain that higher perspective pray ask for the answers right don't go looking without outside yourself you know that you hold everything you need with inside beautiful because you are that oneness that wholeness within yourself and because you gain that wholeness within one's self 
now you are going to be unveiled because God says like, I seen, I've seen, I blessed you with little and you have not switched up. So now I'm going to reward you with more. Wow, chills. That is beautiful. I love that this energy is tying up so beautifully. Okay. <laughs> Abundance. I cannot make it up because God blessed you with a little and you did not switch up. Now, I am so chills. Now God is going to reward you with more. God can't God can't reward people. I mean, you know, God can. But God has rewarded his children, his chosen children, right? He has, and some of them switched up. You know how it is. People get a little bit of money and they their nose goes in the air. Or people get a little bit of fame and they think they're better than somebody else, right? I always tell myself, like, um, what's that? The first, what is it? Saltwater vibes? No. But there's this guy when I first started my... Um, my spiritual journey and he's always like i'm no different from the cat down the street and i use this to this day because i am no different that's why we have that oneness that mindset that i am the same as you you are the same of me we just have different levels and some of us just did the work in different areas right but we are all the same because we are one we are collective we are all from the same creator from the same universe divine what whoever you want to call it raw jaw whatever we are all from that source, right? And because you have that mindset, because you have that sacredness, right? And you you know that within yourself, you're not letting anything switch you up, whether this be a relationship, whether this be a job position, whether this be more financial blessing in your life, you know where you come from and you know where you're going to go. And you're going to be the same person regardless of how far you get, right? And you're, you're not only going to um, get there but you're going to help people get there as well so and that's why God is saying okay I see that I see that I had to test you I covered you I blessed you with a little to see to test you but now that I know now that I really know you are not switching up you are who you say you are you are going to stay humbled you are going to stay thankful and in that state of gratitude now I can come in and abundantly bless you with more Guys, my chills have not left yet. I don't know if you guys can see these. That's so crazy. So crazy. Okay. So what should we go? Should we just dive in a little bit more? I mean, I'm really loving these cards. Let's see what else wants to come out. They're saying next deck. Okay. So God is about to bless you. I'm hearing boom. All of a sudden, God is going to bless you. And it's like because God needs people to see, right? A lot of people can speak it and do it and be it, but I'm also hearing like, that's where I got like the first will be last and the last will be first because when 12, 12 on the clock when I said that, but when this happens, there's going, I don't even need the card. God's like, you don't even need the card. But um, when this happens, right? When this big boom moment happens for you, when the last becomes the first and you are unveiled, there is going to be a lot of people who are looking at you saying, why her? Why him? You know, I've been in this position. I've been at this job for how many years? And then here you come and you get the higher position. Why? Because you were chosen. You weren't just called, you were chosen and you did the work, right? A lot of people think that you can, whatever you do, whether this be going to work, whether this be having a platform, whether this be doing a sport, music, whatever it is, a lot of people are like, I could do that. I could do that too. And then they either they go out and try and they realize that no, it, it does take some work. There is work to it. Or they don't even try and they're just like, oh, well, I can do it too. But they never put the action in. Like, yes, everyone can do it. Everyone can. But some are called and some were chosen. There's a difference. Okay. Some people have that divinity connected to God and some people don't. It, it, I don't know how else to put it and it's not it's it's just not your season maybe your season is to come all right but right now it, it's the chosen that are that are doing this so congratulations to you um, if this resonates go ahead and you know what to do like the video to claim this message in I'm claiming this for myself as well 
Um, and I'm also hearing because you stayed in that state of gratitude, like you, you, you might not have all the riches in the world. You might not drive the fanciest car. You might not have the name brand clothes. You might, whatever it is, but you're grateful for every little piece that you get. And that's why God is saying, because you've been grateful, right? Because you've been in that state of just appreciative for whatever it is, now God is going to abundantly bless you with more. And now it's going to be like, you don't even need to speak on it. People are going to see it. This is going to be physical blessing where people are going to see this on your life. And yes, it will bring a lot of why her, why him? I've been doing this. I've been here. Why this? Why that? You know, and it's just, it's the simple thing of some were called some were um, some were chosen the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first that's as simple as i could do it and and i've been hearing that all day on replay just all day the first shall be last and the last shall be first some were called some were chosen right so beautiful energy you guys will see um i do have some pre-recorded videos you'll see because i'm in the same outfit not this setting but that will come after this video and it's just because the timing i meditate on each video before i put it out i you know and sometimes i get the energy but it's not for that time so just stay tuned if you do see videos um they are going to be a little sporadic but i've been channeling differently my my downloads have been way more intense. Um, I'm also going to start um, just, you'll see, you'll see. God's like, they'll see. <laughs> All right, what else wants to come out? Throat chakra. Maybe some of you guys are musicians. Maybe some of you guys speak truth like I do. Maybe some of you guys have platforms. Maybe some of you are just going to start speaking honesty about a situation to somebody and it's going to create this massive change and i think with five being here that is that change that's going to come in once you use that voice or if you are using your voice that is going to be that change there is something in the power of the voice right there is something in that and i'm also speaking um, i'm also seeing with the blue in the throat right it, it has to do with emotion so there's some kind of emotion or when you speak you are able to heal people's emotion is what i'm hearing as well um there's something when you speak or when you sing or whatever you do with your voice um you, people are drawn to the light i just saw a whole figure oh man my downloads and the visions like i'm i'm being able to see spirit like in my everywhere <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> and then you would think that people like if you just saw if majority of the people just saw what i just saw at the corner of my eye right there a lot of people would be freaked out like freaked out and for me i'm just like what's up <laughs> like it's crazy <laughs> oh my god oh gosh i'm grateful i asked for this i mean well i didn't really ask but i did the work and this is what i'm getting right material harvest i can't make it up i can't make it up so nine which is also i get nine is like a single number right so you could be doing this alone maybe you have been doing this alone maybe whatever it is you've been solo you've been on the mission of just doing it right not relying on anybody like i said earlier you were hidden in plain sight so i'm hearing like there were times you needed people like there were times you actually needed help and it's like you look around and there's no one to be found right and that's why god is like the oneness right we've always been with you spirit has been with you you are one with us we are your team this spirit team so regardless if you have anyone around you right now somebody to call and just be like you know what i'm having a tough day you know hey i'm I'm tired, man. Can I vent? You know, like somebody true spirits like vent to me. God is saying, talk to me. 
I am, I am here for you. I've always been here for you. So that is very beautiful. And I feel like God, like I always say this to myself, like, or cause my son, he asked me like, what did he say today? I don't know exactly what, like I can't pinpoint it, but it was somewhat to do like, who's going to help you? You know, who, cause I, I was helping my son and I'm like, I'm, I'm always going to help you. You know, I'm always here to help you. And he's like, well, who helps you? You know, who, oh, he was also asking about what, what does provide, what, you know, what does provider mean? And I was explaining, well, I am your provider. I am somebody who nurtures you, who takes care of you, who raises you. I, you know, I feed you. I put a roof over your head. I provide for you. I am your provider, somebody who takes care of you. And he says, well, who is your provider? And I said, and I, it, it kind of stumped me in a little bit and I'm thinking, and I'm just like, wow, well, you know. And like, it was like a one, two second thing, but I'm like, God, you know, God is my provider. He, God is my strength. God is my, the person I lean on. God is the person who gave me enough energy to sit down and get on here. Like if you guys knew the day that I had today, it was a very abundant, productive, blessed day, but it literally was from crack of dawn all the way to evening night you know and it just never stopped they're telling me to address it but i did a big spring cleaning today you know i worked all day got you know did the whole mom drop kids school off pack lunch and all that in the morning you know 5 30 and doing all of that right and then going to my outside job and doing all of that and then going to the gym and you know it's like but these are the kind of things right and and for myself i enjoy that I enjoy going to the gym even though I woke up at 5.30 in the morning doing all this mom stuff, you know? I enjoy going to the gym before work even though I know I'm gonna have a, like, a, it's because my job can be laborious or strenuous, right? And it's like, I enjoy that. It boosts me up, it gives me the energy that I need, but by the end of the day, <laughs> your girl is tired. Your girl is tired. But what did I do when I came home? You know, I decided to take on this spring cleaning task and a little cleanup turned into literally pulling every single thing out of my cabinets, cupboards, dusting them, cleaning them, cleaning the carpets. And Spirit was also telling me like, sweep your carpets, clean your floors, like get everything out, you know? And it was just, I don't know why, but it was like, it wasn't only like for the house, but it was a spiritual clean as well. So maybe that's going to resonate with some of you guys um, just to clean up, right? To clean up. You can't get more in. You can't have this abundance rolling in and this material harvest coming in if you have clutter and you don't have space for things. So I think that was like my way collectively as well, where I was drained, I was tired, but I still managed to get everything done. And throughout that day, I was blessed with like little flowers, you know, it's just like, and it was from somebody that like, I don't even really know like that, but it was just like a really, it was God. <sighs> Thank you, God. Guys, when I do my readings, I also get downloads from my life personally. If you were to meet me in real life, I'm very reserved. As, as outgoing and friendly I, as I am, I don't talk as much as I do. I'm very observant. I'm very kind of to myself. You know, I'm very, when spirit wants to say something, I just keep going, you know, and this is spirit. This is how you know, but I also hear what I'm saying. And that was God that came through, through that person who worked through that person, right? To bless me with something like that, to just show me a token of gratitude, right? Like we see what you're doing, keep going. God knows what you like. God knows what you need. God knows how to put a smile on your face. God knows what to do to make you feel loved and to make you feel tr treasured, right? And one thing for me is just flowers, right? I love flowers, I think they're beautiful. Hopefully when I own a home one day, I won't have to, cause I do feel bad with like cutting all the flowers. I wanna have flowers growing, right? Anyway, that's so far off topic. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Like the video, like the video guys, like you know what to do. Wow material and spiritual prosperity like do you see do you see all this abundance all this abundance just coming in for you because you've 
you're going to be unveiled. I don't know what area in your life this is. I, I'm not sure. I'm not getting what area, but all I'm all I'm seeing is that you are going to be unveiled and abundantly blessed because God sees the work that you've been doing. God understands what you need and just get ready. Boom, right? Firm foundation, right? So if you guys had any kind of un unstable foundation, if you guys have had any you know, your stability, that root, that base, whether that be financial issues, whether that be um, losing work, whether that be um, emotional, emotional traumas or emotionally unstable, you are going to get that firm foundation. And I feel like this material harvest, this, this spiritual and material prosperity, this abundance is going to just, you know, it's going to make you feel like, okay, I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I can... I can relax a little bit, you know, I don't have to really keep going, right? I can, I'm okay, like I'm okay to just sit for a minute. And I feel like that's like, for the ones that this is resonating with, you guys have been going, you guys have been doing the work, you guys have been in hermit mode for years, I'm hearing. I know myself, I have been going nonstop with, with, um, out a break, without any help for about five years almost six years right like five years and it's like you just keep going right you just keep swimming just keep swimming like you just keep going you don't stop right and I feel like God sees that and God is like you know what no I'm going I'm I'm showing up in little ways I'm showing up in little ways I'm blessing you with little flowers I'm blessing you with little abundance here and there I but there's going to be something that's like boom catastrophic I feel something where other people are going to notice it's going you don't need to say it they're just going to see it is what I'm getting okay you're telling me use the next deck this video is going a little long um I'm sorry about that if you guys make it to the end go ahead and just you know drop something down there what is it money do you want do you want love drop dollar signs drop hearts you know drop flowers right flowers are beautiful drop flowers what's your favorite flower whatever it is you guys are going to be abundantly blessed. Okay? You guys are going to be unveiled. Spirit God, angels, ancestors. Ooh. I'm also hearing that, you know, there has been abundance again. I can't make this up. Abundance came out twice now. Balance and attraction. We have 11. We have 10. We have 44, we have four, six, nine, and five. So those numbers, we have two master numbers here, which is abundance and attraction. And I feel it's just because you are attracting, ev this is the last card, you are attracting everything that I just said, you are attracting it in. Because you keep yourself at that high vibration, you keep yourself at that love and light. Like I was gonna say, even when you have those lower vibrational energies that are trying to get you down, right? Like, why her? Why him? I'm supposed to be here. You know, there's, I also was getting this download where it's like, like people like me, for instance, who have this platform and yes, my platform, you know, got a lot of attraction, I guess, um, early on, you know, we're only three months in, we're going to hit four months on the 22nd, but confirmation, what I'm about to say. But there, I feel like, I know myself as well, there's other tarot readers, you know, lower vibrational tarot readers um, who are like, well, why her? You know, she just started and, and what, you know, but some were called, some were chosen, you know, some people have their cycle, right? And it's just like, this is whatever that area is for you. Maybe you're going to start a new job and you're just going to excel and go into a higher place a higher position maybe you are whatever it is what you know how it is for you but i feel like um even though you had those lower you know energies trying to keep you down you've kept going right you're attracting it in because you're just like you know what it is what it is it is what it is if, if i'm not doing something right i mean there's i'm doing something right for having all this hate right I'm, i must be doing something right to have all these people 
trying me. You know what I mean? I, the, if you're not doing something right, if, if you're not doing anything, nobody's going to mind you, right? Nobody's going to bother. But that veil is starting to pull back and people are starting to see, right? So now it's like, get ready though, because this abundance that will be coming in, you won't need to say anything. You won't need to do anything. Just keep doing what you're doing is what I'm, is what I'm being told. And I claim this in for myself as well. I claim this in for myself as well, okay? So let's go ahead and get a message from our angel guides and see what they want to say. I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to the channel, for everyone who likes the videos, for everyone who's been reaching out to me for personal readings and um, insightful messages, you know, who's been emailing me. Um, I appreciate everyone who says like, you know, I have a few people that are like, you've inspired me to start my own channel. You've inspired me to do these things. And this is, this is God. I'm just the vessel. And I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate you guys coming and, you know, sharing that with me, but I'm just the vessel. This is, we all have free choice and we all have free will, right? You hear a message and chills because I don't take, I don't take credit for any of it. Right? This is all spirit. This isn't this. I'm just the vessel being obedient, right? Like we get the messages, you receive the message, and what are you gonna do with that? Are you gonna take it, bring it back up to God and and you know move forward in a positive way? Are you going to take it and just disregard it? You know, the message that I receive. I have to be obedient and I have to give them out because it's like they, I was blessed with this gift so I need to use it to be able to share with whoever needs to see it, right? So keep doing what you guys are doing. I know it gets hard. Trust and believe. I've had my moments. You've seen them. You've seen my moments of lower energy, right? You've seen it and I just... I always want to be authentic and I always want to be real and I always want to let you guys know truthfully what it is because it, it is hard. It's hard to put yourself out there. It's hard to stay committed and dedicated, but keep doing it. I see you guys. I feel your energy and I'm just so grateful, but just know that this is all you. This is you with God by your side. You know, you, you heard the message and you acted on it and you stayed obedient to what God has for your life. And now you guys are going to reap the rewards. So just keep your head down and keep going. Just keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, okay? We got, we are almost there, guys. I The chills have never left. I am freezing. I have no windows open. I have no air on. All right, let's see. One angel message. Wow, wow, wow. We're gonna take the one that slid out because it was so direct, but it says, change in direction. And do you see these beautiful little spirit babies? I don't really get this card. It, I didn't recognize it, okay? It says, the changes you are experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcome you desire. That's beautiful. And if you guys haven't checked out the spirit baby message, I suggest you have because there are spirit babies all over this card. Um, I do feel like you, you are picking up that energy. And that's the thing as well. Like I know a lot of people are like, oh, um, expecting and you know empress energy you might be birthing a baby it can also be a new venture a new direction right being in that newborn state that very fragile pure brand new energy and and being out there right so they're telling me to read it again the changes you are experiencing are divinely guided by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes that you desire. Okay, so this is also for um, if I do have the people that were emailing me, I'm getting that heavy for that is 
and you, you know, you put yourself out there and you're pursuing what is weighing heavy on your heart. It's like, keep going, you know, you, you are protected now and in the future. You know, you are divinely guided. Whatever changes are going to happen, whatever you are being unveiled, whatever abundance that is coming in, this is all divinely orchestrated for your life. Like I said, the first will be last and the last will be first. Some were called, some were chosen. All right, guys, this is the beautiful reading. I am so filled with chills. I hope you guys can see this energy, feel this energy, catch my vibe. If you can, you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video. If you feel called to, comment down below. And let's get up to 5,000, right? Let's get up to 5K subscribers. Go ahead and subscribe <clears throat> to the Intuitive Family. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next reading.